So where are we going with all this? The spike ring, it's going to stab you in the back of the band. Some people might like that, some people might not. Uh, it's just a playful idea to get you used to for loops, so you can do some stylistic choices. But ultimately, we're building to something a little bigger. So we're going to take the same for loop and then apply it to something a little more common for jewelers to want to do. So this will be the gem ring demonstration, mark six. And the nice part is this function cylinder, which made all our spikes, we're just going to replace that with our function for the gem, right? So we're just going to call gem right everywhere, copy, paste. And now if we hit compile, uh, it's going to do something weird. So it's calling gem, but it's doing that function in a way that's a little confusing. So it's all a bunch of spikes. These aren't actually part of the function anymore. So if I delete them, right, everything is fine in that it works, except it's no longer being translated correctly because that information is gone. And that's because in spike ring, right, it just knows these two pieces of information. Okay, so now it's, it's back to where it was. Okay. But for coherence, I think it's appropriate for number of gems to be used. And we'll just carry over number of gems throughout the function, right? So that we know that number of spikes and number of gems can be used independently, and they will all behave. And the other problem we're facing is that these gemstones are, are set inside the ring, and not only are they inside the ring, but they're also inverted. So my guess is we need to rotate the opposite direction about the axis. And there you have it. You can see our gems coming on the interior, but uh, our ring size might be the wrong size. So let's take a look. Translate that 20. Okay, so they're going further in. We need to go the other way. So 24. There we go. Like polka dots. Looks like we're going just proud of the surface though, so maybe we need the ring to be a little bit bigger. Like five millimeters thick. And the problem is we don't have any culets. So the function here that we used originally to make sure we had pass through, let's just show that here, is, is not present. So we need to make sure to take the same exact information and rather than copy it over and over and over. We're going to embed the culet clear out into the gem function. So over here it says from girdle to the culet and then we're just going to add this little section here and maybe clarify what this is for. Cut out hole for support in plaster. Right? Just leave that comment there. already kind of commented. And then bring that over. There we go. And so it just shoots a ray straight through the ring, so we've got enough clearance. Now, this function is actually approximately half of gem radius. So we're going to say gem radius. And instead of over 2, it's going to be over 4 because we want half of the half. Okay, and the function still works. But that means if we were to change the gem size to, like, let's say 5, uh, we could without any issue. Right, so, 5. Okay. So the problem is we're passing two spike functions, and this really should say gem ring. Gem ring. And over here, this should say gem ring. Make sure we did that right, that the spike function still functions. Yep. And we can turn off all of this here. Okay. Simpler. Great. Turn that off. Actually, no, let's leave that on. And we're going to go back to our gemstone. Mm -hmm. that off. 
There we go. So now you can see our original gem hole and then all these other gem holes which are actually a little bit larger. And so the one thing we need to make sure is clear is that in this function here, gem ring is no longer part of the union function, but is in fact part of the difference function. And so now there's a bunch of big holes cut out instead of a little hole. And if you just wanted this whole thing to be one size, you could. Um, I guess the classic thing to do would be to make all those holes small and then one hole prominent to show off a slightly different gemstone. And that would be fine. 